Hey everyone, and welcome to EdTech Hustle. Today, we're going to take a look at interactive presentations with the website Wayground. Let's go ahead and get started. So the website wayground.com is an awesome resource. It's completely free to get started and it's going to allow you as the teacher a chance to share interactive presentations with your students. It's kind of like a mix between like a Kahoot and a Nearpod. Now Wayground used to be called Quizzes. It's a resource that I've been using for probably close to 10 years now. So what I want to do is to show you how to get started inside Wayground. So first, what we'll do is just click the login button, and that is going to take us to a page where we can create our own account through a variety of different methods that you can see on the screen. Uh. Now, once you log into Wayground, there's a couple different ways that you can proceed. Now, in later videos, I'm going to show you how you can create your own Wayground activities. But instead, what I'm going to do is to use this option and that search. I'm going to find existing resources that are already included in Wayground on a particular topic. So you can see on the screen at the bottom, these are popular topics for whatever grade level that you teach. So what I want to do for here is I'm just going to search for any topic. All right, and I am going to choose Halloween. Now, once you select your topic, in this case, it's Halloween, it's going to... Now, once you select your topic, in this case, it's Halloween, it's going to show you a number of different activities. Now, you can see some of the activities to the left. There are assessments, which are basically pretty much the quizzes activities. You also have interactive lessons. This is a little bit like a PowerPoint presentation or like a Nearpod presentation. There are interactive videos, which is, I think, what we're going to do next. And that's kind of like a, uh, an, an ed puzzle sort of activity mixed with a little bit of multiple choice there's reading passages and then there's also flashcards but what I want to do is maybe just take something like this I'm going to take uh, or how about this one we are going to do understanding Halloween so what I'm gonna do is just click on play and I'm going to choose this option that says start now all right, so lots of different options in terms of how you want to proceed. You can do a teacher-paced activity, and that is where the teacher is the one that's kind of in control. There's also the classic mode uh, where students are able to go through independently. We have test mode, which has been timed in sort of a team mode activity, but I'm just going to to keep teacher paste for this activity. Now, there also are some other options at the bottom, ways to customize live reactions, a leaderboard, uh, that sort of thing. But I'm just going to leave this the way that it is. And now what I want to do is just click start. Okay, so we are good. Now, what you need to do in order to have students or participants join your activity is you need to share that link, which is going to be joinmyquiz.com, and then you want them to enter that code. Once you have your participants in, we can hit start now. But let me go ahead and just bring over a couple screens so you can see an idea of how this works. And I will paste it right inside here. I'm going to select join and now it's going to ask me to enter a nickname. This is going to be student one. I'll get a chance to choose my avatar. You can see that if I edit it, I have some options in terms of how I want to customize my character, just like that. This is called a qubit, so I'm just going to, well, before I do that, we'll just do this one, random shuffle. I'm going to save my qubit and look at that. I am the first one to join. So now when I look at my screen, as a teacher, I can see one participant, student number one is here. Now let me go ahead. I have another window open right over here. So now I'm going to say this is going to be student number two. Let's go ahead and start that. Student number two, you can see that student one is in the background. I'll customize this and do the same sort of thing. Let's roll the dice, random shuffle. Let's save that qubit. All right, so we have two students in our game, just like this right now. And now what I'm going to do is to start this activity. Okay, here we go. So basically what I'm going to do, let me go ahead and turn this music off. <laughs> There we go, so I turned the music off, so this will give you an idea of what to expect. Let me go ahead and play this video. If you're new to the United 
United States. Okay, so what will happen is now it's going to go in, play the video for us. Students will watch the video up until right about this point. Believe that ghosts of dead people visited living people. There we go. So now this pops up, and you can see right over here, student one and student two now have an opportunity to answer this question. So let me move my window out of the way. You can hear that ticking going on in the background. We'll just take this one, and I'll take this one. All right, you can see that one person answered that correct. One person answered that incorrect. Now let's go back to our main screen. There we go. This is what it will show us. This is currently the leaderboard student one in the lead with 910 points. Let's go ahead and skip. This will then show all of the results for the class. And now what we'll do is continue the video. And we'll go to the next question, which is going to be right over here. I just want to advance this a little bit. Unless it is on a Saturday or... Okay, so now on which date is Halloween celebrated every year? Okay, so my students would go and answer. I'll say this one. I'll give this correct answer, October 31st. All right, and now... And now my next one, I'm just going to say October 31st here. All right, both have that answer correct. There is our current leaderboard. I can click anywhere to skip, and now it's going to show me 100% accuracy for my students, and we can get a breakdown of our leaderboard, who answered, who didn't. All right, next question. I'm going to go back to my students right over here. I'll just say watching horror movies and reading books. All right, one answer is correct. One answer is incorrect. Right over here, student one in a in control of this game. So you get an idea of how this works. This is kind of like a free substitute for a program like an Ed Puzzle. Now I could continue to go on, but in this case, I'm just going to end the lesson. And it will give me a leaderboard of the top achievers in the class. And then that's pretty much it. So again, if you are using a, a resource, and then it's also going to give a session summary for me, just like this, which is kind of interesting, just gives me an idea of the questions that my class has answered correctly. And of course, this will be saved to my account. So if you're just interested in finding some way to show a video for your class and add a little bit of interactivity, go ahead and check out Wayground. You can find it at wayground.com. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you have questions on Wayground or anything else, please feel free to comment below. And if you like this content, go ahead and subscribe. Thank you so much and have a great day.